Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with an unboxing video. It is the video for the um, January Magical Mystery Bead Box by Jesse James Beads. It is January 25th and we got our box in the same month as the month it's for, so I'm super excited. I did have a conversation with one of the people um, uh, at Jesse James. They um, assured me that they're taking our um, feedback into consideration with the magical mystery bead boxes so I'm really excited to see what's in this one um, and I had a lot of fun doing that rising star video if you haven't checked it checked it out check out their channel it's not gonna be on my channel it's on their channel oh, oh I'm super excited oh my gosh okay so they also sent this one FedEx um, because they wanted it to get here on time with all the problems that are happening with the USPS. So, oh my gosh, I can kind of see what's going on in the corner of my eye and I'm like freaking out. So, um, <laughs> in the box. Uh, Jesse James Beads Pantone 2021 Spring Summer Magical Mystery Bead Box, January 21. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. You guys know I love rainbow colors. <laughs> so we've got 2021 trend colors, spring, summer, and two surprise extras. Oh my gosh, Surpri uh, raspberry sherbet, uh, bite sized bead mix. So they're all bite sized bead mix. Uh, and so I'm not going to say that 10 times. <laughs> Burnt coral, marigold, illuminating, green ash, mint, cerulean, um, French blue, amethyst, rust bite, and al aqua. And then over here, two surprise extras. Win a $50 uh, JJB gift card for your design. Post your creation with MM. BB January by 218 enter. Join us on an unboxing on 2-3. Jewelry pictures using materials from this box can be posted on and after 2-3. So you're probably going to be seeing um, this video after 2-3, maybe. Um, and you guys can join. They have a magical mystery bead box like group. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. I, I, I Let me just show you kind of how they packaged it. It's like eye candy. I love rainbows. I'm like re organizing well a lot of my stuff in my studio is organized in Roy G. Biv but I'm reorganizing a bunch of other stuff in Roy G. Biv so I know let me try and back out a little bit this is the yummiest thing I've seen in a while look at that oh my goodness I'm so excited okay so let's unpack this I will back this out just a little bit this is the most excited I've been for a magical mystery bead box since I signed up. That's for sure. Okay, so what's the first one on the card? First one is the ras uh, raspberry sherbet. So let me see if I can find that. Okay. Well, it's funny because here it certainly says raspberry sherbet, but here it says raspberry sorbet. I'm totally fine with that. I like don't want to unbox like unbag these just because of how pretty they are. But I will for the sake of you guys. <laughs> I love you guys that much that I'm unboxing my beautiful packaging here. All right. Because we want to see what's in the bag. We don't want to just see the packaging, right? Okay. So I have a little bead tray. Okay. All right. I'm going to scooch back in because the lighting's better if I'm closer to the beads. All right, see how much brighter that got? So I'm seeing right off the bat a big boho bead. So this is raspberry sorbet. Yum, I love it. It's more, it's like a fuchsia, more purpley. Very pretty. We've got some thinner metal for the bead cap. Yeah, the bead caps, uh, well, this one's not that thin. This one's pretty thin. It's more like stamped metal. Um, a couple beaded beads, like these are that beaded chain. some um, glass big boy crystals. Um, I'm interested to see if this will rub off because if you can tell, they've they've dyed these beads to be this color. They aren't like using glass that this is this color. So I don't know if the finish will come off. You can see the middle of the bead is clear. So we've got two nice metal beads here. Um, some really cute like teardrop shapes this one's got a chip in it Let's see this one's nice 
and then we have some coated glass um, I'm not a huge fan of these types of beads I don't I won't use them because they become sticky and it's it's really weird I don't I don't know why that happens I don't know why they continue to use them the, this is a cool bead it's got like glitter and it's a silver bead but it's almost like enamel I don't know if I can get that to focus. There we go. That's really cool. Um, a couple of these cage beads. I still <laughs> haven't figured out how to use one yet. <laughs> other than just maybe like an earring. Um, two nice cube crystals. Sorry, it keeps focusing on the back beads. And some... We've got a... We've got a... Uh, crackle glass bead a couple of crackle glass beads so very cute mix oh and we've we missed this it's like a metal like a foil on one part I like those oh and a couple spacers these are neat disc spacers those are really neat I like those overall I like this mix there are a couple beads I probably wouldn't um, seek out which are these I, I those will probably get thrown out just because they're not they don't go well um, with the things that I make but I think this is a cute little mix all right let me pack this one back up and I'll move on to the next one okay the next mix is burnt coral this is really pretty and I was kind of expecting when I pulled this one out just to be the same exact mix but in um, a different color but I'm very pleasantly surprised to see that it's got a completely different color metal with it and some totally different beads from what I can see so far. Um, so I love these knotted. I haven't used them yet. I have a couple of them in green from um, some previous uh, strands from Jesse James beads. But I like that this is like a nice corally peach color. Um, ooh, I like, see, I really like the metal in this one. The other ones were, the metal in the other one was okay, but these are really nice. Oops, sorry. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous bead cap. I really like that. We've got a nice boho bead. Very pretty. We've got two of these big um, antique brass. These are pretty heavy. Uh, large metal beads. These are really nice. These remind me of the goddess beads I used on that necklace I made for the Rising Star video. However, they don't have patina on them. They might get patina on them at some point, though. Um, some really nice fire polished beads. These are really good. I really like those. Got a couple antique brass. Some big boy beads, these are really nice. I like this color. Um, a couple glass pearls. Um, this, they're not the best quality. This one's already kind of peeling. Uh, you can save that with a bead cap. The issue is here, since they're in a mix, they're gonna get scuffed up and they're already kind of scratched. So I, I couldn't like make something. Thankfully, I don't make stuff to sell right now. But if I did, I couldn't use those. This is a cute color. It's a little damaged, but it's cute. I like these. They're almost like sheriff stars. Those are nice. And then we've got a couple bead caps. This one's really nice. Oh, and a different style of fire polish bead too. This one's like a half. Um, coated metallic. This is really nice. I like this mix. I really like this mix. Okay, I'll move on to the next one. Next, we're moving on to Marigold. Ooh, I'm seeing some yummy, 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 like orangey colors in here, citrusy colors. Oh, we've got two boho beads in this one. Lovely. Even though I don't really use those very much, I still really like them. Um, oh, what's this? It's a charm. Beautiful charm. You could even use this, you could use this as a bead cap on a really large bead if you cut off that hoop. That would be a really cool bead cap. I don't think I've seen a bead cap like that before. Not that it is a bead cap. <laughs> um, and then we've got a couple cage beads. Um, ooh, really, ooh, two really big chunk, chunky crystals. Now these aren't, these aren't the same size. 
one's just a tiny this one is bigger the one on the right is bigger than the one on the left and you can't tell but I can tell because it's heavier and I can see it with my with my naked eye that it's it's a little bit bigger they're two different sizes I don't know if you can see it yeah you can kind of see it there but that's okay I probably wouldn't use them on the same project anyway this is beautiful that is beautiful it's like that volcano color magma I think that's the color oh there is another one in here so I could make that couple bead caps Ooh, these are pretty I really like these I really like those and then we've got another one that's like a flower shape two little crystals Got some little glass beads. I love that color. Oh, some really nice color, canary yellow. Um, this is an interesting color. It's like a gold coated um, fire polish bead. That is neat. I don't have any that look like that. I really like those. I wish I could buy a strand of those. Also, if you guys know where I can get a strand of those, let me know. A <laughs> um, couple of glass pearls. Um, I remember last month I was a little upset about the the, art, the um, acrylic pearls, and um, they heard me. They they said they understood, <laughs> and that it was a mistake that they were acrylic in the first place. So I'm thankful that they're glass this month. Um, this is a cool little metal spacer. I think there's oh yeah, there is a second one. Very cool. I think when I have I have my my um, metal spacer bead soup. But I think I'm gonna have to start one for Jesse James beads because they send some pretty good metal spacers. I'm not gonna lie, like a lot, I do like a lot of their metal. And a lot of their metal ends up in my spacer box, but I think I'm gonna have to separate it out. Okay, so that was Marigold. Next is Illuminating. So it's their yellow of Pantone. Ooh, I'm seeing some yummies in here. This will go really well with um, that lemon, what was it called, lemon? yellow sun mini mix that I used in the rising star video just so you can see kind of what was in that one they're gonna go really well together I can make a whole new set I can make like two new sets anyway that's not what this video is about. <laughs> um, this is pretty this is really pretty I'm, I'm very much appreciating yellow this year I really it's hard to find yellow beads that somebody today was the day that that video premiered and somebody said you know it's really hard to find good yellow beads and I think Jesse James is starting to kill it with the yellow they're doing a really good job with that this reminds me of like lemon chiffon cake or something I want to eat it it looks like it's covered in frosting it's yummy it just like take tastes like yellow pound cake <laughs> can you tell I'm hungry <laughs> anyway this is super cute I love the the shells and I love the um, little pearls those are so cute so sweet I need to start making boho beads I need to get with it <laughs> um, we've got some really nice like canary yellow ones those are pretty really pretty um, vocal crystal oh two of them nice I love that like jonquil color we've got some teardrops those are really pretty this one does it have it has like can't tell if it's like cracked in there or if that's just the way of the crystal but I kind of like the striations that are inside that crystal very pretty oh I got an extra one there's a third one in there nice um, and then we have these are really cool I've, I haven't seen them do this this is these are those mad like little magical beads magic beads little miracle beads what are they magic beads I think they're the little teeny tiny beads that don't really have holes um, but they're a rondelle there, I've never seen that before. That is neat. Those are so cool. It kind of looks like the middle of a, like a, a, a flower, a sun, a sun, not the middle of a sunflower, but a middle of a yellow flower or something. Daisy. A nice um, couple of these crystal rondelle spacers. Some check glass beads, pressed glass. Um, ooh, a couple. These are probably halite. I want to say. That's neat. And then we've got some tiny, we've got a tiny spacer. Oh, a little flower bead cap. Oh, and a couple of these spacers. 
I'm doing really well with the metal in here. I'm liking that. Then we have a couple of these little like canary yellow crystals. I really like the, uh, the last, the, th the first one was okay. The last three have been really nice. And then we have some bicones. So raspberry sorbet wasn't my favorite, but uh, coral, I'm sorry, burnt coral, marigold, and illuminating so far have been awesome. Okay, I'll move on to the next one. Okay, next we have green ash. So yummy, this is one of my favorite colors. Um, mint and turquoise are right up there. Turquoise and beats mint just by one second across the line, but yeah, mint is right up there with my favorite colors. Hmm, look at these. I'm liking these crystals. I can see the same stripes in this one. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I think it's just the way it's cut. Um, we have some, ooh, some nice, sturdy, like quality spacers here. These are really nice. These are like pretty heavy. I really like them. We've got some bicones and some little, do I, oops, oh no, we've got a couple of the crystals. Okay. And then, oh my goodness, these are so yummy. They look like they're covered in like mint sugar. Those are so pretty. Oh, I can't use them. <laughs> They're so pretty, I can't use them. <laughs> and then we have some larger, I think it's interesting, they went with threes in this one instead of instead of pairs, but maybe you can use a pair of beads to make a necklace or a um, pair of earrings and then use one as a focal on a pendant or something. And then we have some oh, little round, rounds, little heishis, little glass heishis. Trying to get that in focus. Oh, dropped them. And then some uh, more half coated fire polish. I like that they included some fire polish this time around. And then we've got, oh, I don't have any spacer beads that look like this. That's a neat mix. I'm liking the, they're, they're thinking outside the box this time. I like that. Two little glass beads. And then we have these uh, bead caps. Really like this mix too. Okay, so the last one was called mint, um, green ash. This one's called mint. So I think that like the other one looked to me to be a more minty color. This one looks more, it's not, it's this is, I don't know, it's like spearmint. This is probably like a spearmint color to me. I don't know. Not that it matters. <laughs> not that it matters. I just want to see what the beads look like, right? Okay. So we've got some big boy crystals. Again, these are dyed. You can see it's clear in the middle and um, not on the sides. So like I said, I, I don't know how long or how well that finish will last because it's not the color of the glass, it's a coating. Uh, I try to stay away from coated beads just because if you were wearing a bracelet, like if you have your favorite bracelet and you wear it all the time and it's a coated bead, no matter how well you try and take care of that bracelet, that bead, the coating will come off at some point. So glass pearls it happens with those so it, you can use them on earrings no problem but like things that are going to rub on your wrist I, I'm guessing that these are going to come this dye is going to come off at some point um, this is stunning look how like shiny that is oh my goodness I think who was it today Marisol maybe said sparkles my favorite color <laughs> she was saying sparkle is her favorite color I think that's the best saying I've heard all year so far these are really cute little acrylic crystals Ooh, these are nice love it love that these are really pretty uh, like a very cool um, shape the crackle glass. I love crackle glass beads. They give some a lot of sparkle for they give a lot of bang for not a lot of buck um, Some nice disco balls Very sparkly I have a whole strand of those in a smaller size um, and then Two little a B crystals 
And then we have some um, like coated beads. They've got like some paint on them. Those are cute. Some bead caps, of course. Can't have big beads without bead caps. Look at this little tiny metal spacer. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so super cute. And we've got these. They kind of look like leaves, like abstract leaves. Two of those Sheriff Star, <laughs> that's what I'm calling them. Um, bead, uh, spacer beads. And that's it. That's a really cute mix too. Very nice. I love this guy. That guy's a stunner. For sure. Okay. We've already done six mixes and we still have five left. That is nuts. They really, they really outdid themselves this month. Next is Cerulean, which I would say this is more like a denim almost or like a powder blue. I Cerulean to me is like bright aqua. Again, I don't think anybody cares how what color what color I think things are. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, this guy's pretty. So it's got those little tiny magic beads and then it's uh, got rhinestones pressed in too. Got some little fluff from the box. Ugh, that's so pretty. I only have a couple things, a couple beads that look like this and I think they're black with like topaz rhinestones. So that one's really neat. I like that color. Um, we've got a big, is it just one? One big glass pearl. Again, you can kind of see it's been scratched from being in the mix. I don't think it's the best idea to put pearls in mixes because they it just they're delicate. Even if they're glass, man-made, they're they're delicate and they get scratched and then you can't really use them. This is a really cool shape. This these crystals are awesome and they've got a nice AB finish on them. Wow, look at the shine on those. Wow. Normally I put my JJB's, uh, the crystals in a, um, my crystal soup, but I'm not doing that this time because these are all really nice and they're going to stay together until I use them. Um, and then we have some smaller crystals. Let's see here. Oh, this is a different kind of crystal. These are, are these Czech crystals? Just the way that they're shaped kind of makes me think that they're checked because they're not cut here. They're that smooth hole. Those are really neat. We've got some translucent like blue beads. So another um, type of crystal. I'm really loving some, most of the crystals are this uh, are really, really These pretty. Are the same that were in the raspberry sorbet. We've got some fire polish beads. Those are nice clear. And then um, a bead cap. Oh, a couple bead caps. So we've got this one, it's really ornate and it's really pretty. And then we've got this one. Two different quality bead caps, but both cute. All right, so that was Cerulean. FYI, there were two big glass pearls in Cerulean. I just missed one. It was off to the side. So here's French blue. This is a really good blue. This is a really pretty blue. I love it. I love blue though. Don't get me wrong. I love every color. Don't love red, but every other color I love. <laughs> and I'm, red's growing on me. Red is growing on me. So here we have some like um, metallic crystals. Love that they're giving us crystals in all sorts of different sizes. So, oh, what kind of, this is, is this stone? Sorry, it's moving, it's a matte stone, but I don't know, I don't think it's Labradorite. It looks dyed. I don't know what kind of stone it is. It's really pretty though. They look like little watery moons. Um, we've got two big pearls. These are actually in pretty good condition. Still, no scratches on those. Um, look at this guy. Oh my goodness. I think I have one that's very similar to this already in my boho box. Um, yeah, I don't know if this guy will ever get used because it's just so pretty. 
I can't, I can't use my really pretty beads and I only have one of them. It's like asking me to give up a child. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Please don't yell at me in the comments. <laughs> um, all right. Some really pretty blue crackle glass beads. Um, and then some fire polish beads. Very pretty. Ooh, these are nice. I like that they didn't really repeat a lot of the, the metal. I have seen a couple of the same things, but I'm seeing some really unique pieces. Oh, wow, this is neat. I haven't seen, I have these. I got these actually, these just came in a spacer mix that I got from Jesse James Beads um, to do that uh, mirror, uh, excuse me, Rising Star video. Came in this spacer mix. So there's one right there, but it's nice to get more. Um, this one's really cool. I would love to get my hands on some more of these. These are, I, I haven't seen a spacer like that before. I've got some bead caps, another bead cap style. And then some little, um, yeah, these are just little faceted glass beads. Cute mix. My favorite, obviously, is this guy right here. And I really like those stones. Our next, our next mix is Amethyst Orchid, and Kathleen, if you're watching, I know you like purple a lot, and Amethyst, and so is my bestie, Laura. She loves purple. So, let's see. Oops. Half in the, <laughs> the dish, half out of the dish. Okay, let's see. Oh, 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 first thing I'm seeing are these. <gasps> Oh my gosh, look how sparkly those are. I am nuts for crystal right now, apparently. Oh, they're so yummy. I just love sparkle. I love sparkle. This is really pretty. This is really, really pretty. I like the, the AB on the crystals. We've got two um, beaded beads. Two purple pearls. Um, they're a little scratched up. Not as bad as the others, but they're not perfect. Um, these are really neat they have a little bit of a twist to them I don't know if you can see that I love that mystic color that iris AB coating so lovely those would make really pretty earrings actually look at this right here just bam you could get an earring really stunning earring just by doing that oh my gosh so pretty if I wore earrings I would do that but since I won't be able to enjoy the earrings I wouldn't make them <laughs> because I can't wear them okay so um but maybe you'll see them eventually uh this is I just oh, I really like this one I really like this mix just because of these crystals I love whatever this color is on these crystals it makes me super happy um we've got some silver uh, fire polish beads some bead caps and then some little orbs little they've got a nice luster on them Nice purple luster. Oh, the silver. Oh, okay. Well, that's different. Look, um, one is just silver. Oh, no, no, I lied. I couldn't see it from the right angle. That makes it even better. It's the same color on the inside as these guys. <gasps> that makes me so happy. I want a whole strand of these. <laughs> I'd be so greedy. I want a whole strand of these and I want a whole strand of those just so I can like actually use them. <laughs> Um, we've got some really nice, these are like matte. One of them has scratches on it though from being in the mix with the metal. I'm just saying, if you, if you get new beads, you don't really want them to be scratched up. Um, and then these are really cool. I know, these are just glass with a nice um, iris finish. And then we have a couple different spacers. So we have this one. We have this one. And then we also have this one that was in one of the other ones, which I really like. So good mix, great mix actually. These, these crystals do it for me and then this guy. So fun. Next we have rust, that's like a brown. Oh, ooh, sorry, there's confetti in the, oh my gosh, I can't even talk. This is really pretty. Oh boy, 
This has some really pretty beads in it. Oh, these focals. Do you see these? These are really nice. They're a little dusty. So I don't, it's not that evenly dyed. Like maybe I just got a bad bead because these look really nice. These two look really nice. This one's coating is coming away a little bit. So it's okay. Um, I, I really, when it comes to, these look old world. So that kind of actually adds to the look. But if I was a little more picky, I'd probably be not very happy. But these, I think I've seen a lot of nice, nice beads in this box already but I think these are my favorite which is weird because they're brown right so <laughs> but I really like them they would go really well with my African beads with my all my eclectic ethnic beads really pretty like uh, red luster gem pair crystal gem pair um, we've got some really nice older looking brass beads antique brass beads it's really neat Ooh, what is this? I've never had, gotten a bead like this from them before or seen one. It's very interesting. Look at that. It's th it's little um, rondelles around like a, like an insert. That's neat. You have to be a little careful because this is a little stabby right here. This guy kind of poked me a little bit, but that's really neat. Those would be cool on earrings. I don't know if I want to wear it on my wrist. <laughs> I'm gonna get cut. But it's really pretty. That's that's thinking outside the box. I like those. I, I I have not seen those before, and I would probably buy those by themselves because they're so gorgeous. Oh, look at that. The earrings are just coming together with this kit. Look. Like that. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. These are be like cones. Those are neat. They look like an evil eye almost. Can outline that with some patina or something. Ugh, this mix is my favorite. <laughs> Even though I've had some really pretty ones. The yellow kind of combated or, you know, is in competition. And the orange was really nice, but I think this one, the marigold or the rust is my favorite so far. I've got some copper. Look at how ornate those are. I haven't seen spacer beads like that before metal beads like that before they're not really spacers um we've got oh some cord end beads but you can use them as bead caps too or you can top off tassels with them that was neat and then some frosted glass beads and then just some like little nice two-tone glass and then some pearls these are actually not that scratched up and then we have some little glass beads here very cute love them this is my favorite mix so far just because I, I just love the metal in here and it was very unique like these things are so cool now I want to make some <laughs> that was my favorite so far Okay, the last bite size bead mix is El Aqua. And hello, we know you we know Brittany loves aqua, right? Of course they have to save the last for last. <laughs> what do we got here? So we've got two glass pearls. Same feedback on these that I had on all the other pearls, so I won't go into it again. Some nice pressed glass cubes. Beautiful love that color like a little baby blue sorry for moving the camera there Ooh, oh, I love these I love these they're like they kind of remind me of like Moroccan um, lanterns oh I love them I want these in every color those are neat these are really nice yeah they were really on it with the metal beads in this and all of these mixes had some great metal beads good job Jesse James beads um, these are cool. I haven't seen these before. They're very beautiful. Nice turquoise. Beautiful. Oh, and then we got three boho beads. Those are sometimes hard to come by in mixes. So, and most of the time you only get one, maybe two, but nice to get three here. Lovely. 
my boho if, well I was I'm not gonna split these up I was I have been splitting up all my other JJVs but I'm not gonna split these up but if I did my my boho bead box would be getting very full today this is a neat spacer or a neat uh, I keep saying spacer just because it's metal sorry I keep saying spacer just because it's metal but it's, it's just a metal bead it's not a spacer I mean I guess you could use it as a spacer but then we have um, some more bead caps I think this was in the first mix um, some, oh, these are faceted. I think this one is acrylic. Um, more pressed glass. And then a couple cage beads. And then um, some rhinestone spacers. This one's got an awesome AB finish on it. Mmm, that's yummy. And then some more fire polish beads. I'm very surprised that they they matched all these fire polish beads. They did a good job there. And then, oh, bonus, couple glass. Uh, uh, actually, don't know if this is glass or acrylic, but uh, by cones. Very cute. Um, hello. They also said two surprise extras. So I am like. I'm so flabbergasted. <laughs> this kind of made up for an entire year of boxes where I wasn't very happy. <laughs> I am very happy with this box. Thank you, Jesse James Beads. Finally, we got there. I love it. All right, so let me clean this up and I'll show you the last couple things. Okay, so we have a lot of pink things here. <laughs> they're, they're filler for their boxes as this pink filler, so. <laughs> um, but let's see. We have a couple more things that they said were, oh my goodness, were little surprise extras i'm just making sure that i'm grabbing them yep so the first is a little spacer mix i'm so excited oh my gosh those beads that i really really wanted more of that i hadn't seen before are in here these i really love these and i'm excited i have five six of them now at least one two three four and then two that were in the other mix those are really cute We've got more of these, I really like these. They're very substantial beads. They, um, from what I understand, just got a bunch of different um, nice metal spacers on their, their site. And they, I always go for the really cheap little tiny spacers that you get at like bargain bead box or bead box bargains, which are nice. But these are like very substantial. These will be more noticeable in your designs. And then, um, oh, some copper, very nice. So we had these in silver in one of the mixes, I can't remember which one, but now they have them in antique copper. I don't know if you guys know this, but I ran out of antique copper spacers and needed them for a video and I was really upset. So now <laughs> every time I see them, I'm like, get them, get them, get them. And then some nice daisy spacers. So that's a cute little mix. And I like the little thingy it comes in. What do you guys do with these? Do you guys keep your beads in them when you get a mini mix or do you toss them or do you put other things in them? What do you what do you guys do with those? And then last but not least, looks like we have an amazing toggle clasp mix. And guess who loves toggle clasps? Me. Oh, it feels like all my Christmases have come at once. <laughs> so we, what color is this? Um, looking through the camera, actually I can't tell. Is it silver? Yeah, it's silver, but it's got, it's, it's silver. It just looked a little gold for a minute. Um, a nice big clasp. Um, I think I have some of these, but they, it's kind of art deco-y. Ooh, we have another big one in anti-copper. I don't have any in anti-copper. Oh, he's a little stuck. Oh no. Colty's digging in her bed over there, if you can hear that. Oh no, that's disappointing. I don't have any in this color. And unfortunately, I won't be able to use it because it's stuck. And it's, I don't know if it has to do with the plating or what. Maybe I'll try and, I don't know, would WD-40 work with that? I don't know. That's disappointing. Oh, I really wanted to love that guy. Um, we've got a pretty... This is really pretty and if you wanted to get super fancy you could like put some dangles off to the side here that would be neat or you wire wrap that too oh who do you go with oh this okay that's pretty like a hammered metal look 
I have a couple of these, or I had a couple of these. I don't know if I have them anymore, but they're really nice, very big. They kind of look like crocodile skin or something. Scales. Ooh, we have a couple uh, magnetic clasps. That one's neat. Kind of looks like a spore. Looks like my. It uh, looks like a, a germ, but it's cool looking. It's cool looking. And then we have a nice um, rhinestone magnetic clasp. We have. A nice like little scrolly one I love that oh I think I have this in silver at least I think I have one in silver but I love this in gold it looks like the Sun um, what do we have here very cute and delicate and then one more I know I have some like this in a different color very cool and then here are the the other sides of some of the ones that I just showed you so cute i am in love with this box honestly with all the constructive criticism <laughs> i've said in my previous uh, unboxings for this box throughout the year this one made up for it i really really loved it um let me know what you think about this box i'm still bummed about this guy hopefully i can get it fixed and uh it, what you think and which one was your favorite which color was your favorite um i think out of all of them still the rust was my favorite even though that's not my favorite color it just had the best beads um metal wise mixed with these um like ethnic looking bohos i think this one was just fantastic so they did a really good job i will definitely give people kudos when when they're deserved so anyway thanks so much for watching please like and subscribe um and stay tuned for goldie she's adorable she's looking at me now like what do you want mom <laughs> have a good one bye bye are you a sleepy baby hmm you the sleepy baby Oh, you're so cute.